Welcome to this week's movement video. Today we're going to do, we're going to create a little bit of an altar. So an altar probably means a whole bunch of different things to a whole bunch of different people. I'm just going to share what it means to me and why I, why I choose to set up an altar in this way. So to me, an altar is kind of a reminder of um, where I came from what I want to go towards, and what things I'd like to invite into my world, into my reality. So I start with um, an altar cloth. So for me, this cloth is made by someone special for me, and it's actually a napkin, but it has sweet value. So that's my foundation. So I'm putting on the foundation a sweetness. And then I like to bring in the elements. So for earth, I'm going to choose this beautiful seashell and put that there. So that can also represent like the ocean and the flow within the ocean or that ever present like heartbeat that the ocean provides for our earth. So it's a physical object. It represents the earth. And for me, it's also deeply personal and relates to my heart being that same ever beating constant support inside of me um, and then I'm gonna use this I think this is a turkey feather and I'm gonna use this feather to represent air so you know it can blow air there's a lot of like native uh, tribes that do all sorts of really cool ceremonies with feathers so it's very personal again so this feather I chose this feather because I found this feather when I was walking through the woods and I had a thought and it felt really true and then I saw this feather. So I'm not gonna share those personal details of what my thought and what my feeling was, but it represents something special inside of me. So that's the air and then of course there's another meaning. This is a vase and this vase came from a dear friend and it's water, so inside the vase is water. The vase for me also represents divine femininity and the ability to hold and be a deep, deep container. Um, and then there's metal. So this, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a very, it's a woman with wings and this symbol for me, this symbol, actually this was my great grandmother's and it's very risque, in my opinion, for my great-grandmother. And it also represents this sense of wildness and protection. The wings represent protection to me. So that's there on my altar. And then lastly, I'm gonna use this candle, and this is like my ancestor candle, like the, the candle holder for my ancestors and just like having that symbol. And of course, there's fire. So I will light this and um, so I have all the elements and a lot of times I have my, my practice that I do at home working out starts with me lighting the candle and just sitting here for maybe a minute and just staring into the flame and feeling the flame inspire my own openness to happen through my central channel. So it invites me to open up and burn through anything that's no longer serving me, any patterns, any thoughts, any just junk that's just hanging out that I don't need to be with anymore. And then I move and my movement encompasses that. And it's like, especially when I leave the candle going throughout the day and I have to blow it out to leave my home, I, I blow it out and in the looking at the altar and, and these symbols that mean something personally for me, I remember what I want to bring out and shine into the world. So this is how I see altars and I would love to see yours and I would love to see um, different symbols and what they mean for you. So if you could take a picture of your altar and share it with us, that would be lovely. Come on over to AlyssaRay.com and get on the train, get on the movement train. I'll see you next week.